How y'all dickheads doing it is I, once again, Dick Record, coming to you live from the studio in New York City. We're going to be doing a premiere draft, March of the Machine, today. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. And more importantly, come over to twitch.tv slash Dick Record. Link in the description where you can catch me streaming leather crafting, video games, a little bit of Magic the Gathering content, and other sort of nonsense every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from around 4 to around 8 Eastern Standard Time. But with that out of the way... Let's fill these seats. Um, as some of these, some of these drafts are like super, super quick filled, and it's like that. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> there I go, going about like how it's taken forever, and it didn't. Um, that was quick. People are really enthused about this this format, and I think it's gonna be a real shame next month. Not even. I think it's twelve days away with the uh, edition of Lord of the Rings. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a. That's gonna be a shame, because like if you want the cards to play in historic, you likely just craft them. I don't know if people are actually gonna draft that set on arena, you know? What we got? Invasion of Innistrad, very good removal. I think we just take that. Um, not full tournament's okay. Negotiator's pretty good. Botanical Brawler's not bad. Spite's really good. I do like Invasion of Innistrad though, because like it's removal, like that minus thirteen, minus thirteen type of removal that basically kills anything, uh, at instant speed. And then it's it just makes you zombies which is like gg the win um i think we do take it um other cards that i would take to follow up with that informant barons um spite um we're very far away from brawler unfortunately but yeah we definitely take the invasion of innistrad here and i don't even think it's close oh umazawa is actually pretty good too we'll take the invasion it's just like real good removal. Collective Nightmare. Invasion of Zendikar. We could take Invasion of Zendikar. And in, 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 and an Herbology Instructor. Jesus Christ. What is this pack? Part of me wants to take the Nightmare. Part of me was like, just take the Instructor. But like, the Call of Five color is like right here. There's also a Volcanic Spite. Zen Invasion of Zendikar. What's great about this is that it flips for three. You could spite it, right? Planeswalker Creature or Battle. Um, you could spite it to flip it at instant speed. Hey, what's up, Red Reaper? Yes, you're in first. You are the first. How's your day been? Um, and it's a pretty... Con like, it ramps you, right? So it fixes your colors. It's a pretty controly, I guess, thing. Because it's a... The thing that it spits out has vigilance and haste, right? I think we do take the invasion. I wouldn't mind the herbology instructor. Because that's just removal and a creature that stalls for you. Um, but I do like the invasion. I do like the invasion. So yeah, we're gonna take that. How's your day been? How's your day been, Red Reaper? Um, Vanquish the Week is pretty good. Uh, Port and Tracker's not bad. Aetherblade Agent's pretty good. Streetwise Negotiator's not bad. It's a butt fighter. It's a butt fighter. He fights with his butt. He's an O2 with backup one. That makes, um... He, he, he deals damage equal to his toughness instead of his power. He's a butt fighter. Butt fighter. Butt fighter. Um, I think we take the Aetherblade. Port and Tracker is really good too. Port and Tracker just, could just help us flip the invasion of Zendikar really early. Maybe I do take the Tracker here. I wouldn't mind the Negotiator, but the Tracker is so good, especially with things like Invasion of Zendikar. Right? Invasion of Innistrad. You flip those things. This only has five toughness. Yeah. Or five defense counters. I don't think that's too terrible. Storm the Seed Core has been uh, very good too in the format. Maybe I do take the tracker. Yeah, let's take the tracker. You have work today. Umori the Collector. Each non land card in your deck shares a card type. When it enters the battlefield, she's a card type. A 4 5 for 4 is already just like base rate very good. I think we just take it. It's. It's playable in our black decks. It's playable in our green deck. <coughs> yeah, I think it's just the pick here. I'm sure it was kind of hard for somebody to pass that because it is also just like a 4-5 for five, 5. And you can choose a, a card type to just make cost less for as long as it's around. I am about to sneeze. I thought I was about to sneeze. Maybe not. Take the Omori. Um, sometimes you just want a big body. Um, Informant's pretty good. Vengeant Earth is trash. Plastic Rotten Tail's like, eh, it's okay. I'll take the Informant. It's rude. It's 
got some attitude. I will take the Mauler. Sometimes it helps you get your your lands. I will take that. Um, and sometimes you just play it late. Like with Invasion of Zendikar, you can ramp into it in turn five, and that's like real, real annoying. Invasion of Muraganda. Is this the fight one? That is the fight one. Cosmic Hunger is pretty good. Mirror Shield Hoplite's not terrible either. Like, but that's in the red white deck. I don't know if we're anywhere near that. I feel like we're either in green or we're in black or we're in all colors. I will take the hunger though. Fight spell's nice. Um, Timberland Ancient is actually pretty good because you can ramp into it or you could just force cycle to make sure that you hit your land drops. Um, I think we do take it. Happy hump day. Oh shit, today is Wednesday. I will take this uh, second Azumi Informant because that's just rude. My day's been weird, Reaper. Like, I don't know how to explain this one. Um, we got like all this... I don't know if it's reaching you down there where you guys are. We got all this smoke coming from California. I'm sorry, not California. From Canada. I think I think Walsh actually has something to do with that. I think Walsh has something to do with all that smoke from Canada. I'm kidding. I don't, I don't believe you do. I'll take the second Informant. Um... <laughs> I will take the Bond Warden because it's the best card in this pack. Uh, I, S Storm is here. Okay. Cosmic Hunger number two. Uh, maybe we take the Storm because that's how many creatures do we have? We need more creatures, right? And Storm is actually really good, but I think Cosmic Hunger is more playable. Um, yeah. When I go downstairs, I, I went downstairs to go get... How you doing, by the way, Walsh? When I went downstairs to go get my, um, my, my water pitcher filter thing... You can see the smoke hanging in the air. If I look out the window right now, it's orange. The sky is orange. Like, it looks real bad. I see people wearing masks again. Like, they're just like, wow. I, like, I don't have the fan on, even though it's like 70 degrees today, because I don't want that shit getting wafted into my house. I'm sure that, like, I'm still getting some of it, but my god. Um, War Historian's not bad. Neither is Icker Drinker. Uh, and this kind of lets the... Although the Reach... Thing is not irrelevant here on War Historian. But this is two bodies, and it could like stall a game out better. Placid Rotten Tail's fine. It's not wonderful. Arachnoid adaptation is probably one of the better combat tricks in the in the format. I am momming. What's up? How you doing, Zudi? We'll take that. Zephyr Stinger. Wow. I'm tempted to take that, if only because. I want to take like a bunch of bombs. I already have Invasion of Zendikar. I want to see if we can go five color, but we're mostly green black. I'm tempted to take it. It's such an amazing card. It basically goes like, oh yeah, everything that this this spell is free. Everything that helped you cast it also now flies. <sighs> but I don't think that's the correct pick here. I think I still take it. We'll see where we go. Because even though I'm in green black, it's still I think it's way better than like um, Rotten Tail. I think it's better than Adaptation, right? So if I end up getting Zephyr Singer, sure. Or if we end up in, in like some form of blue, right? It's just, it's such a good card. My pack one pick one was um Invasion of Innistrad, which is just bam, you know? I do use Untapped. Is it not showing? If that's the case, whoopsie doopsie. But yeah, it's, it's running. So drafting a deck. Yeah, it should be running. Um... If it's not, oh well, I haven't figured it out perfectly then. Um, Corruption of Tawashi is really good, but we have very few flip things other than the invasions. Um, and I think we take Traumatic Rev here. It's a really good card, like especially in this format where sometimes you just go, you miss, and then you, you don't get anything from their hand, but you still get a 3-3 three, three, um, Incubate token, which I guess plays well with Corruption. But I think we have to take the Corruption, the Traumatic Revelation here. It is in gaze. Uh, Mutagen Connoisseur is fine, but Invasion of Lorwyn. Wow. That's real good here. Blighted Burgeoning. We're passing up a Blighted bur Burgeoning. I think we can't afford to pass up the Invasion of Lorwyn. I think that really ties together what we're trying to do here, right? In terms of, like, murder things, flip these stupid invasions, and, um, go aggro. There is an extension. Uh, it should be in... It should all be running. It should be running. Um... I think. I don't know. I If it's not working properly, it's not working properly. It might be also have something to do with the inset here. I think we still take... Actually, you know what? Invasion of Lorwyn might wheel. And I think that allows us to take the burgeoning. And in fact, I think that's the more correct play here. Because this ramps and it gives you a body. 
Um, Invasion of Muraganda, never been a fa fa fan of that. I think we take, let's see. Ooh, Jungle Howl is really good too. Um, if this was the blue black or the green blue, I think I'd take that. I think we just take the hollow here. I don't like Invasion of Muraganda simply because it costs five for a fight spell. Um, then it's got six toughness or six um, defense counters. Don't like that. Might even wheel. If it wheels, it's fine. I'd rather have the Serpent Blade Assailant than that, but I'll take the Timberland Ancient number two. Um, Lutri, that's cute. I like Lutri. He's a cute boy. Overgrown Pest, though. I'd be dumb not to take the Overgrown Pest, and I think we do. It replaces itself immediately. It's a 2-2 two, two for, for a 3. That'll get you a flip card or a land. Hey, what's up, Feels? How you doing? Um, right now, I've got, like, so much smoke in my lungs. Dina Soul Steeper, I don't think, is the play here. Um, it's green, black, but we're not doing Dina Soul Steeper things. We're not gaining that much life. Part of me wants to take the Artistic Refusal, actually. Because I think it's a really fun card, but we're we're so far away from blue. Um, but if we end up pivoting to blue because of Zephyr Singer, it's a very good card. It's a, it's a free um cryptic command. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's supposed it works it's supposed to work in yours too, except there's um since there's an inset, I think it screws with it a little bit. Fertilid's favor is not great. Neither is Furtive Analyst. I think we'll take the Inga Rune Eyes. Nothing else here is like really great either. Like the the etched toast doombringers, but you know, I'll take the Inga. I'll take the Inga. We'll see where we end up there. Invasion of Mercadia. Is this the wheel? No, it's not. Meeting of Minds is cute. Like corrupted conviction is not wonderful. I don't like Halo Hopper, so we'll take the Meeting of Minds. The Convoke stuff's actually real fun. Um, Expedition Lookout. We don't really want etched toast doombringer. I don't. I don't like it. Remove three defense counters from it. Otherwise, put three defense counters on it. Like, it can insta-flip our invasion of Zendikar, but I don't think that's enough. It's very mid for a 3-5. Just working. In, you're in the office. Oh, I'm sorry. Magic's going okay, Walsh. We're just, uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, we took that. I don't like Shapecraft. We are getting a War Historian here, though. I don't mind that. 3-3 three, three with Reach can really fight off the, uh, the preening champions of the world. Oh, okay. That makes sense, Zudi. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's supposed to like work, but I think it only really, really perfectly works if if you're playing the game full screen. I have an inset. You know what I mean? And and you have an inset too, so I think that, that like sort of throws it off a little bit. You know what I mean? Nothing really for us here. I guess the Omen Hawker is not terrible. Right? Because it helps you flip your um you could tap it to flip your uh your your um incubate tokens. Traxus Fall is not terrible. Jungle Hollow Wield. I guess we'll take that. No, Traxxas Fall is terrible. Um, Bond Warden, again. Uh, another Rotten Tail. We'll take it, but we're not playing it. For Reist. What we got here? Grafted Butcher. Alright, so Phyrexians you control gain Menace. Other Phy Phyrexians you control get plus one, plus one. Sacrifice an artifact or a creature. Return it from your graveyard to the battlefield as a sorcery. Um, that's cute. How many Phyrexians do we have? We have one. I think we still take it. Um, oh, wait, there's a preen here. God. All right, maybe not. The preening champion's way better. Because the... So the things that make Phyrexians are the incubate things, right? Uh, so traumatic rev. Burgeoning. Uh, these aren't Phyrexians. That doesn't make Phyrexians. That's not a Phyrexian. These aren't Phyrexians either. Yeah, yeah, it's the Preen. Actually, it's the Preen. I almost made a mistake there. Hey, what's up, Saddish Shark? How you doing? Oh my god. Alright, so this is actually in our colors, which is wild, and I think... I don't know if we take it. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, turn uh, opponent loses two life, and you gain two life, sacrifice another creature, draw a card, you may put a land card from your hand on the battlefield tap, you control eight or more lands, repeat this process. I don't think I like that over... Tangled Skyline or Skyclave Aerialist. In fact, this might just wheel because that's a three color card. Um, Skyline can help you last a little bit longer in bed as well as in this fight. Um, it gains you five life. It makes a, a, a five five incubate token, which you can then flip to have a five five creature with reach. A reach creature, a reacher, a creature reacher. I don't like Sandstalker Moloch. Invasion of Amonkhet. I think we take that over, like, the Informant. Because this is just one mana more. We're going to have, like, such a dumb thing. We have to... We're going to have to... My god, Progenitor Exarch 2. We're going to take the Invasion. We're going to take the Invasion. We're going to take... 
invasion. You'll take 50. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't we all? Where'd you, where are you going to put those 50, though? We're going to take the invasion of Amonkhet. Recently, I've been finding myself just drafting three colors in this format. And, like, maybe it's too greedy? Let's complete the circuit. Convoke. Spells as if they had flash. Copy it's twice. You may choose new copies. To, new targets for the copies. But it's six mana! If that was half the price, maybe. I'll take a title terror. I'll take a title terror. That helps us fix better in the early game. We'll, we'll definitely take the title terror. Convoke doesn't matter here. Sure, you tap all of your creatures. We don't have enough creatures. Like, we're not making enough wieners. We don't have enough, like, let's say... What's it called? It, that, it's, that's the wrong pick. Like, that's too greedy. That's way too greedy. You tap out and then you have, like, no mana to cast anything else. I just, like... Hey, what's up, Fubi? Uh, it's just, it's, it's too greedy. You, you can't really take that. Taking that is just, like, basically time-walking yourself, right? Sure, you get something cute to go off, but, like, at most, we're gonna get, like, maybe two Gloom Fang Maulers out of it, you know what I mean? Or, or maybe we'll get two removal spells. But I don't think that changes the fact that, like, it's not great, great, right? I don't know. I'd have to be convinced. I just, I don't like it. Um, I don't like not Vold Hermit either. But it's a 4 4 4 4. Um, I think we do take it. I don't like Emery either, but I think we'll take the not Vold Hermit. We'll probably cut it too. I don't like Oculus Whelp. I'd rather. Ooh, Dismal Backwater. It's either meeting or dismal. We already have two Nazumi informants, and we'll probably cut one of those. And I think we need the better the better fixing here, so it's gotta be the backwater. Seed of Hope's okay. Familiar is not wonderful. Invasion of Arcavius is actually trash. We have a lot of removal between Oh, we have a meeting of minds. In invasion of Innistrad as well as two cosmic hungers. So I think I don't really like Seed of Hope though. I think we'll just take this because it allows us to go way later. Remember to close my windows tightly. I, I have one open because I do need air. Oh, I need air. It's pretty bad out there, though. Like, it's real bad. I think we could... Ooh, Skittering Surveyor. This late Skittering Surveyor? Um, I also didn't mention that, like... I think that that weird blue rare, I think, goes better in the red-blue Convoke deck because you have cards like Rouse Reinforcements. Uh, I'll take the Skittering Surveyor. Skittering Surveyor this late? Wow. Um... I think Traumatic Revelation is the best card here out of all these, so I'll take that. Even though we already have one. Cyber Cryptomancer. And I think we could take a Chomping Kavu here. Although the Flywheel Racer is more fixing. And technically rare, but then we need bodies to pilot it. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll take it. I don't think we'll play it, though. Um... Beamtown, Beatstick. Oh no, we can't play any of these. Well, I guess we could play Urn of Godfire, but we're likely cutting it. Um, how you doing, Fubi? It's all smoke. That's fair. That's fair. I look out the window. I was telling. I was telling um, 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 Reaper earlier. I look out the window. It's orange. It is legitimately orange. None of these cards are for us. None of these cards are for us. That's a forest. I guess that's for us. Um, yeah. And I stepped out, and I saw people wearing masks today, and I was just like, yeah, 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 it sure is mask day. All right, so the Umori, Umori, where are you? Umori the Collector can be our companion, but then we don't get to play the rest of our deck, so screw that. Um, we're not playing the Urn of Godfire. Uh, huh. I don't like the Expedition lookout here. Cryptomancer I do like, though. We'll keep the two informants. We'll cut a Traumatic Rev. A Traumatic Rev. Um, Cosmic Hunger, Hunger Times 2 is great. Portent Tracker, that's ramp. Or, or end, and or. Yeah, that's kind of ramp. We got a Flywheel Racer, which I'm not the biggest on. Do it, I won't. No, no, I won't. I won't. You love Wednesday Dick? Aw. Wednesday Dick's kind of like... Tired of all this smoke in the air. I'm kidding. Um, I don't know if we play Inga. What's my creature count right now? 19. I can cut two creatures safely. We also still have like a lot of creatures in here regardless. Um, I don't know if we still play Artistic Refusal. Definitely play that. Definitely play this. This is... T oh, you know what it is? It's counting the invasions as creatures. Except for this one. 
I don't know if I play not Bold Hermit even. Although it does turn another... So, like, what's fun about the Chrome Host Hulk, and I do wish we got that uh, Corruption of Tawashi, but it will. It wasn't going to wheel. Neither was Z uh, Xena and whatever, but... Uh, I thought they could have wheeled, actually. If someone was, like, as deep into... The, maybe somebody just rare drafted it. Why is it so orange outside? There's this, um, it's, it's, it's national news right now. There's a, there's a bunch of wildfires going on in Canada and all that smoke is just washing down. It's made the, um, it's made the air quality of like the Northeast incredibly bad. Um, New York city in particular has had the worst air quality in the entire world yesterday. Um, according to, was it the times? Yeah, it's pretty bad out. I stepped out for a minute to get a package, and I was just like, holy, sh you could see it in the air. You see the smoke, people are wearing masks again, and it's just like, wowza. Wowza. Um, okay, so we're we're in the uh, the big things. Um, kind of, uh, what the fuck? Oh, shit, the Ghost Rider. Thank you for becoming a dickhead. They said being out is like smoking six cigarettes. Jesus Christ, Ghost Rider, thank you for becoming a dickhead, how are you doing? I stepped out for a minute and I saw people wearing masks and I was just like, should I be wearing a mask? You know, and it was just to pick up a package. Yesterday afternoon when I did all of my chores and shit, did, ran all my errands, um, went grocery shopping, did the laundry, um, you know, and it was like, it was fine. In fact, somebody yesterday, as they saw me adjusting my mask, in a sing-songy and very annoying way, said, Pandemic's over! And, like, you know, I I let it go as they were passing me by, because it was just like, whatever, maybe you're some stupid asshole, right? And I'll just, whatever. And then, like, a few seconds later, I heard them continue to talk at me about, like, how it's over, and I don't need to wear a mask, and I just yelled, Shut the fuck up! And they stopped. It was wonderful. It was so wonderful. And now today, the next day over, everyone's wearing their masks again. So it's weird. It's it's definitely weird. Um, we need the burgeoning, we need the pest. I don't know if we need the familiar, so I'll cut that. Uh flywheel racer is a little bit of fixing. It's a little bit of fixing. I don't know if we need the icker drinker, but it is a body, and then it's another body which can stall out the game for us, which means that maybe we don't need the omen hawker. I like the Cryptomancer. Sometimes that's just like, oh, protected. But I don't know how much we need to like actually protect our cards, right? Because like if they kill any of our creatures, it's just like, okay, we have more. And so maybe because of that, I get rid of... No, but you know what it is? There's, there's the blowout potential of this fucking thing. And it's the same kind of blowout potential as like artistic refusal, right? Or meeting of vines. Maybe I don't need the Inga? I like the Zephyr Singer. I do like the Zephyr Singer. The Northeast is turning into the North. Is it bad in the Northwest? Is it bad in the Northwest? Oh no, I coughed. I'm dying. Oh, I'm not dying. Um, We also have two duels, right? So we have a bit of fixing there. Did they change to my good lands? Perfect. I like my pretty lands. I didn't spend those gems for nothing, god damn it. Uh... Alright, so maybe we'll cut it in... What are we doing on creatures? I have to cut one creature. So the thing about things like informant, like these these lower drop creatures, is that they really help to um, convoke things out, like Zephyr Singer and um, Artistic Refusal. So they're not, like, completely useless. Maybe I cut an Ancient. Yeah, it seems alright. Um, we have one of each of these, so that's, like, a bit of fixing in and of itself, in, in addition to Skitty. I feel like I need to cut Inga. Part of me feels like I need to cut Inga. I just, I don't think it's great. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3. It scries 3, which actually can fo function as a bit of fixing, right? Because it allows us to, like, dig for the whatever. And then when it dies, I used to I used to misread this card. You just use the Bob Ross lands. I don't have those, but I understand why. That's that, that Bob Ross, uh, he did some really good work back in the past, and they, they, they just sort of, like, licensed the, the artwork. Um, there's also Godzilla lands on here, which is kind of cool. I, th I think they're on here at least. Um, but I think you needed the code for the longest time. I don't know if you could just buy outright buy them. I have two sets of pretty lands. I have the full arts recently, a bunch of, uh, other full arts from like Kamigawa and whatever went on sale. And I have the, um, the ones from Urza saga, the, um, they have the old border and that's the only reason why I bought them. 
God, what do I cut? This is so hard. This is a body. Maybe I cut the flywheel racer. I just don't like it. I like the traumatic revelation. It's technically a creature. And it technically functions almost like the informant. I need the, the hungers because they're my removal. I'll cut a hunger. Um, this is like the hardest thing because we have to cut four, four things. And like, this is a body. All right, so hold on. Let's organize in terms of T3. Okay, so these are creatures. These are creatures. And uh, invasion turns into a creature. Um, this actually is the kind of deck where I might be inclined to play um, that one card that's like remove five tokens. Ah, I mean, that's fair. And that's kind of cool them that they gave you the code. The racer, like, sometimes the racer seems okay. You know why? It's It taps for one man of any color, which means that it's kind of ramp, but like... And sometimes you also just get in there with a 3-2 because nobody really wants to trade for the racer. Um, it usually trades upwards in a lot of instances, even though it's a 3-2. So, like, you do that, you, you pilot it, you attack, and then, like, you play something stupid. Uh, Burgeoning, we have to keep. <sighs> yeah, I think we do cut the racer, though. I think it's not the best. Um, part of me really... Okay, so, I really should be looking at these. And Refusal is great. Skylines, I think one of the cards that we need for the deck to function. Meeting of Minds, I like drawing cards. I can't see myself cutting that. Ah. You know, it's Cryptomancer, fuck it. We'll go 42. 42? 42? Well, it's, it itself is not a creature. It becomes a creature, but I, I understand what you're saying. Um, it also, like, it has vigilance, right? So you get to swing in. If they, ha if they don't have any uh, good blocks, you know, they take the damage, and then you then get to do whatever spell shit you want to. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of... Uh, like, there's value in there. I wish we got another portent tracker, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Okay. 42. 42 is fine. Guys, 42 is fine, right? Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. 16 creatures. And you know what? We have a lot of creatures just coming out of other things that we have, like uh, Icker Drinker makes another creature. Traumatic Rev makes a creature sometimes. Um, Blighted Burgeoning makes a creature. I wish I saw another. I did see another Blighted Burgeoning, but we had to take the um, other card in there. All right, we're good. 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 We're going to suggest the lands, right? It's still five, four, six. Let me look at this again. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty high up there. Six. Yeah, we do have most of our um, most of our early plays in, and these are black, black. Yeah, okay. So we do have most of our okay. Okay, I think our mana is fine. I think our mana is fine. Forty two is the answer to the universe. <laughs> Oh no, going into round one. Hopefully, we will finish this draft before I die of inhalation issues. Um, what? That's... That's a joke, but also, like, it's an actual concern. What mastery level? 60-something. With 12 days left. It's 60-something, but it's enough time for me, at least. Uh, I hate this untapped thing here. Um, we... This is perfect. Guess who's got the perfect... Yeah, keep... Guess who's got the perfect curve? Am I going first or second? Or second? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so tracker. Invasion, actually, next turn. Oh my god! Actually, actually. Looks like our opponent's doing the same thing. Sixty-five. Wow. That's really high. Um I think. Okay, so. Green, yeah. I think. Oh God, why? <sighs> I'm tempted to just. Here we go. Let's do this now. What we lose? Invasion of Innistrad. <sighs> <laughs> No attacks. <laughs> What'd they lose? Wow, they actually lost a few, like, useful cards. 
We lost some pretty good stuff, though. Like, this Invasion of Innistrad, that going to the bottom kind of sucks. Um, we can play Invasion of Zendikar next turn. Uh, or I can go Tracker... No, no, it's really just... Yeah, okay. I take two. Huh? Mutagen Connoisseur. Okay. Um, we don't play that yet. We do not play that yet. Uh, but I do think we play this. Okay, so what are we looking for? Because now our mana is perfect. So I guess that and... Actually, yeah. No attacks. Haha, <laughs> fool. You want to hit all the dailies? Huh. I, um, you're at 61. 61's pretty good. You should both be finished in, like, a, the 12 days. 12 days. And then we're not going to have, like, a really good draft format. You know what I mean? Um, maybe I should have played Tracker. I mean, like, we're, oh, they're putting their Giganta into their hand. Okay. Uh huh? They're going to hit us? And I'm going to play Tangled Skyline, I think? Actually... Uh, we'll take the Hollow. I specifically tap green-black here. And then we can play this. Actually... Resolve that, convoke that out, give these things flying. Next, next. Okay. Lo Lord of the Rings is going to be the next draft format on Arena, and that sucks because it's not a standard format, which means that you're drafting for... They almost have all five colors. Um, you're not drafting for cards to play in Standard or um, Pioneer or Explorer. Alright, so there's a Jeggles. Good old Jeggles. Okay. Play this. Mm -hmm. Play this. Alright. And then... This is a free attack, so... We're not going to attack with this. We're going to attack with these two, though. And I think we actually go for this. What do they have in the graveyard? What do I have in my graveyard? Um... Yeah, let's try to flip that. Yep, they blocked that. And let's see if they want to trade their preen. No? Alright. End turn. It doesn't work in Explorer. No, it's only for uh, Modern, Vintage, and Legacy and Commander? That's because it's not a standard set. That's the thing. Uh, Invasion of Alara. Okay. Mm-hmm. Resolve. Yep. What are we getting? They got two cards. War Historian and Thespian. Not the best. That's kind of a whiff, right? I don't know if opponent realizes that I have a 5-5 five five in the pocket. It is only historic. That's why I'm not even touching it. Um, peace. Oh, I could have um lowered the tokens on one of these. Okay, so that's got reach, so I have to be careful of that. Um, activate this. Make a 5-5, five five, and it's my turn. My turn! Um, I will play this. They don't have the mana for dispersal. So they can double block my Zephyr Singer, which is why I'm not going to... Um... Oh, they do have the mana for dispersal. Uh... Okay, so let's see. I can resolve and pay for that, right? I really wish I could see through this resolve. Yeah, because I don't think this works the way... This, uh, to activate abilities. Resolve? Yeah, alright. Okay, um... What do they have in their graveyard? Okay. So, I'm going to tap this to remove a token from this.
Wait. Oh, okay. Um, and I don't think I need to attack. Oh, they played that with Gigantha. That's why. That's wild. Um. Uh huh. Let's see if they'll trade. Make a trade. Okay. That's fair too. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna flip that next turn. So, okay, burgeoning. That gets them a 2-2 two -two token, okay. Yeah, there's nothing that really Lord, the Lord of the Rings set does for like if you're a standard player. Elish Norn into a Tali. What the f uh What the heck? Yeah, the cards aren't very very useful. Okay, so that's uh super duper strong. It's indestructible. Let's see. They might have a card that I'm not a big fan of. So no blocks here. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have attacked with this. Uh-huh. Okay, Icker Drinker's not great, but what are you going to do? We'll play this. And I think I'll flip that, actually. So what do we have here? Assimilate Essence. Furnace Toast Charger. Oh, I can get my title Terror back. Um. I'm going to make a copy of my Title Terror, and then we're going to start, uh... I don't want the Charger. Title Terror. And then we'll play... Yes. I guess I could try to attack this thing down, but I don't think that that's necessary. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. And this requires five. Where am I? Oh, six. I have the six. Activate ability. Because that thing's there. Done. Isn't that it? Oh, I don't have it. Cancel. Never mind. Um, I gotta cap pay this for Phyrexian. Whoopsie. Done. There we go. There we go. Now it also has the Rech. Um, hmm. You know what? No, because they could flip that thing and then they'll have a block with this thing and that thing, and that's not wonderful for me. I think that that's some um, aerial boost in their hand. Oh, it's Dispicel. Okay. Okay. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. What, Invasion of Alara? Eh, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think we could flip Invasion of Zendikar next turn, but I don't think that's the... I don't think that's the correct play. I think the correct play is actually to start going after them with, uh... Tidal Terror. Um, we can block a fair amount of their board pretty profitably. Like, this 0-5 does nothing right now. Oh, there we go. Alright. There's that. <laughs> what a top deck. Um, okay, so they get to destroy something of mine, I believe. Right? It's like a few things. Target player draws the cards, put an artifact from your hand onto the battlefield, which I don't think they have any artifacts. A uh, copy of a permanent they control, which will likely be Preen. Distribute three tokens. Uh huh. Destroy target permanent, which is likely going to be. God, I, I, I guess it's got to be the. Stinger? Maybe it's the Skyline. It might be the Skyline. Yeah. Oh, they're destroying the Chrome Host Hulk. Okay. That's fine. Um... I don't know if that's the correct play. Uh, maybe it is. Because it allows their flyers to get in without issue. Well, not without issue. Hmm...
Because I also have a, like a suite of flyers. Yeah, but it's not like the greatest, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, they made a copy of that. This, oh, they put a token on that, that's why. I was like, did they flip something? It's like, no, it just got a token. Uh, Invasion of Zendikar, okay. Alright. They're getting two lands, pretty good. You're 1-1 one, one into a badass. <laughs> no, it turns my 1-1 one, one into a 5-5. Five, five. The best use of it is actually to use it with um, the Incubate tokens, because they're like zero zeros with a bunch of one, one, plus 1 plus 1 tokens on them. So you could turn, like, like their Incubate token would become a 7-7 seven, seven if they attacked with that and a Chrome Host or not Fold Hermit um, flipped. <clears throat> okay. Um, they do have something, though. I'll just block with that. Oh, I guess they don't. Okay. They just wanted the surveil, I guess. Um, that's strange, then. Yeah, they didn't have anything. Okay. Well, artistic refusal's cute. Play that from the yard to get a thing. And then I think we just flip our invasion of Zendikar. Right? Because that gets us another body. That's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, we don't attack with this. So... Let's see, we tap this, and I think we tap the Omen Hawker. No, we tap the, uh, the Informant. Yes. And we hold up an Artistic Refusal, because that's real good here. Um... Okay. That doesn't block anything, though. All right, so tracker and informant. I just hit that. We flip it. We get the big boy. All right. And we can flip this whenever to combat any of these things, and it'll have reach too. If they cast a spell, we just artistic refusal it. Um, and I think what we can do is actually tap that to flip this to then use it to pay for no we're not even gonna use it to pay for that fuck we could just outright pay for this right one two three four five six yeah we could just outright pay for this pass mm -hmm. okay maybe i do just block it with skyclave yeah 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 come on keep going throw things at me Whatever it is in your hand, it's getting countered. All right, so pass. Lock that with that. Pass. Bung. Okay, so they're just kind of like temp testing the waters. Oh, this also taps for mana. But I guess this has, um, Convoke. Do I care about that? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Let's wait this. No, oh, tap this. My turn. Okay, the land is not great, but we could hold that up for the uh, artistic uh, refusal. All right, so next, attack with this. Tapping down this and informant. Next, next. Get him for four. Getting these complicated board states. Yeah, I know. I play more, um, not conservatively, but more... Uh, uh, not dirtily. I, I, I can't really explain what the, uh, what I enjoyed, or what I do mostly in these, uh, in these formats, you know what I mean? Let's see, that's a 3-3 three, three token. So whatever they have, we have a blowout for it, right? <laughs> Simply because we can artistic refusal. And if they cast anything that, like, doesn't matter, again, we just let it happen. Um, like, Finn the Fang Bear, I have no problem letting that hit me, like, three or four times. Uh. Now, they might go for Invasion of Zendikar, in which case, again, I don't give a shit. Um. Opponent's big think here. Oh, okay, Wary Thespian, I don't give a shit. Huh? Surveil. Yes. There's 
Unless they attack with everything, there's no reason to attack with anything. And I think that they're trying to weigh whether or not they should. Right? Because, like, we only have good blocks. Okay. Shit. Oh. Like, I don't give a shit about Gigantha, right? Like, that could just hit us. Oh. Are they coming to the realization that, like, they're gonna lose things? Okay. Alright, so... Yeah. So put this in front of that, put this in front of that, put this in front of that. Um, I don't care about the 2-6. Maybe I do block this with the pest. No, block that with the... Uh, maybe I don't mind taking... Or I do mind taking the 6. Yeah, 4 blockers. Yeah. My turn. There's our preen. Which is pretty good, actually. I think we cast that here. Makes us a token. We'll hold that up, because we could still cast this out, right? Right? Yeah, okay. Um... Tap this. Actually, no. Tap this. And we'll tap... This. Pick four. End turn. If they cast like any haymaker, it's counter it, draw two, discard one. And I think opponent knows in their heart of hearts that we just have something. I likely, like, I don't know if I actually care if they flip invasion of Zendikar right now, though. Oh, I should have put a token on that thing with um, Tracker. No, I shouldn't have. They will go for it, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. That's weird. Um. Okay, so... Health. Let's see. So this box that. This box that. And do I even care about Finn hitting it? No. Resolve. Get some another surveil. What are you looking at? There's 12 cards left in their deck. There's... I can't even see what's on my screen. I can't even see what's on my screen because this fucking untapped thing. I hate it. I hate this untapped thing so much. That was weird that that took them so long to... Uh, I can't tap this to... Uh, no, I can't. Alright, so my turn. Alright, so we'll just add a token there. Next, we're gonna attack with this. Uh let's see. We'll tap that. That. Yep. Um play out another blue source just in case. End turn. Okay, important tracker. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. Guess who don't give a shit? Alright. So. Oh, are they going with it for Jiggles as well? Alright, 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 alright. Alright, 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 alright. Maybe I do let them flip it. Yeah, maybe I do let them flip it. Because, like, they're just taking off a whole last turn to do that. Right? Which is weird. I guess it gets them a 4-4. Four, four. Pass. Ah! Uh... Yeah, no blocks. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep, resolve. Like, it doesn't really get them... I And I guess I could counter it here, but I don't think I want to counter it. Um. Mm-hmm. We still have him on a three turn clock.
Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Resolve. And my turn. All right. So there's Umori. Uh, and I think we'll cast this, making it so that my creatures cost one less, right? So we'll play Umori. Umori. Um, I guess we could just pay for that. Auto pay. Okay, that's strange. Um, creature done. All right, so um, I think we need this. Unfortunately, um, let's see. That's a four six, which is pretty big actually now. Um, which means we'd likely double, triple block it even. Which does mean that when we attack with this, we're tapping down the tracker and the informant. Oh no, let's tap these two down. I'm oh, sorry, this one and the tracker. Yeah. All right, so tap this and tap the trucker. Next, next. Okay. Got him. It only took 400 turns. They saw it though. They were like, I guess they top decked the land, you know, and they just didn't want to, they didn't want to keep going. Um, deck seems to work. Okay. Okay. Right? Like it kind of works. Um, we'll claim that. Uh, yeah. Want to know? Going into round two. It kind of works. It kind of works. Um, it's kind of a, it's, it's held together with uh, scotch tape, but it kind of works. Water of life, save us. All right, so we got to turn one play. Let's just see how. This is one of the things that I hate about. Hey, perfect mana. Turn one, turn two. Um, we can't Zephyr Singer right away, but it's fine. We'll Icky Drinker. We'll Icky Drinky. Icky Drinky. Icky 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 Icky. All right. <laughs> Damn it, Walsh. You're drunk, Walsh. Give me your keys. Give me your keys. <coughs> Kidding. Yes. Yes. Oh, Kreen's pretty good. That allows me to play um Zephyr Singer turn like four? Oh god. Opponent is just Play a Preen. Mm -hmm. Hold wait a minute. I'm I'm waiting! I'm waiting! Uh Death Guard. That's gonna suck for you, sir. Uh, let's see, that flies. Let's see, hold on. If I played this... No. I do have to play this... Uh, here we go. Tap, tap. Auto pay. Resolve. Resolve. End turn. Okay. Gave the whole board flight, so they just can't block any of them. Um, even if they make this able to attack next turn, it's just like, cool, I guess. Uh. Um, I think next turn I play Inga, right? I'd like to get Tangled Skyline running. So Inga helps me ba both make use... Unless I just get the land for Tangled Skyline, Inga helps me make use of my, my mana. Oh, are they looking... Are they planning on just killing the Zephyr Sing Slinger? Zephyr Slinger? Singer. Singer. Singling. Yeah, they're doing something. Cosmic Hunger. Alright, alright, alright. That makes sense, it makes sense. Uh, yeah. Alright, so next we're just gonna hit him. Gain some life. Yeah, Inga Runas. I do need a fourth land, or fifth land rather. Um, oh god. These are all real good. Play this. Uh, next turn we can do it, do it. Okay. You know what though? Let me get this in my hand a turn earlier just in case. But all those were good cards. Like, 
you know, playing the Nizumi Informant will be good. All right, Hermit. Okay. Uh, play this. Gain life. Slap out. Gain some more life. We're at 29 life somehow because we had this really weird aggro start. Um, I think next turn we play Historian? Spell Spear. Okay. They can like flip this now, right? Or are they considering flipping that? They don't have enough mana for that. Okay. Oh wow, okay. Strange. Now they could attack with this. Okay. Weird how little I give a shit. Um, no blocks. We got this invasion, De La Innistrad in our hand. So next. Tack, tack, tack. With the flyers. Two turn clock. Just keep uh, applying the pressure. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five. Um. Oh, we can't cast Invasion of Innistrad. Whoopsie. Um, we'll play this then. End turn. This allows it so that if we have like if we if we I didn't even realize I couldn't cast Invasion of Innistrad. I need uh, I need a black source. <laughs> what is this blue green aggro? Listen, it's working, alright? 2 and 0. Oh. This is how it always goes. 2 and 0 oh, and then 2 and 3. <laughs> 2 and 0 oh into 2 and 3. Watch, it's gonna happen again. Um but yeah, that was a that was an insane aggro start, courtesy of the Zephyr singer that they just like they answered it? Sure. Oh. So this is what happens when um when you get uh so okay. So when you play along your um your 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 dailies or whatever, right? Eventually they, they start just giving you uncommons or gold, right? But sometimes they'll give you a random rare. And so it looks like this random rare is something that I already have, which is why they're giving me 20 gems. Yeah, I have four of her, I guess. So cool. Hi Summer. My cat's here. Let me start this next match. Yo, you eat your crunchies? Did you eat your crunchies, Herbal? If you have all, enough of all of the cards, like you end up getting a lot of just, um, oh, I already have that. Here's gems. You know? Uh, let's see. This is technically keepable. I'd like a green source. I'd like a green source. Two of these. I can get, I can just cycle that for a. Oh, there's a green source. I could cycle this for a blue source, but I think we're going to be fine. Okay. There's another green source, actually. Play this. Let me let, let, me let them think that we're blue-green. Or black-green, rather. Pitch a card, sir. Hey, what's up? Ryan. Take it easy, Zoot. You have a good evening, okay? Nah, it's not a death card. It's, uh, it's just a jerk-ass card. Kami of Whispered Hopes. Okay. Um, Let's see. Well, we do attack. And I think we play a green source informant. That way, if they get froggy and try to attack us with their kami. Oh, yeah. Vanquish the weak is a real card. Umori the collector. Oh, that's a big boy. Instants cost one less. Okay. All right. Um, right. We'll play this. I can play burgeoning, targeting. Let's tap this way. Green, black, green, burgeoning, targeting my Island. Uh -huh. Incubate two. And next. Oh, I just saw that Reaper. Let me take an actual. Thank you. No attacks here. Sorry. In turn. Um, their next turn I can, during the end of their turn, I can just meeting a mines. I guess we're taking four. Like, I don't mind taking four here. Pass. No blocks. Hmm? We could ramp into the title terror, which might not be great for them. They might be holding removal, you know? Auto pay. And I think they are holding removal simply because of, like, that. Right. 
Um, let's see. We'll play this. Oh, that's my only blue source. Oh, I should have played that then. Okay. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just play this. And if they have removal, they have removal. Okay. All attacks. Are they really? They must have a combat trick then in order to do that like that. Like they probably have um Really? That's wild. Okay. Usually they don't do that like that. Okay, I guess. Um only to save themselves from one day. I guess it does it does make more sense that way. I lost my Umori. Ah and a traumatic rev. That's cute. Um. <laughs> All right. So next turn, mm -hmm. that keeper's pretty good, especially at this point in the game. Yep. Take that. Okay. So I think we play this. Can I play both? I might be able to. Right. Omen Hawker. I think I have to tap that for... Hold on. Black. Green. Blue, blue. I have to leave one... Mm -hmm. You gotta discard, and I gotta discard. Alright, alright, I gotta draw a card. And then, I think we just cast this for... Hold on. F blue. I activate this. Green. Activate that ability. Green. No! Motherfucker! Z? <sighs> cool. Alright. Thank you, Auto. whatever the fuck that was. Um, I would have been fine to just cast it for free, but no, you had to get involved. Okay, no attacks. Oh, that's annoying. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's 4-4. Four, four. Uh-huh. I don't want to take 8 here, so I don't think we will. Uh, to what's your what's your response to spam calls? Uh, it doesn't really matter which direction we go with these. Bong bong. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Like, ha if I use this, I don't have the mana for that. I think I do have to do this like this though. Well, let's see. I killed that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So you have access to this and then War Historian. Um, I think we do do that. Do do. <laughs> um, should I just kill that now? Yeah, maybe we do. Ah, uh, let's kill Umori. No attacks right now. Productive. Did you um? Did you make your uh, workout equipment? Hi, Heather. Welcome to Shake and Bake. You shake we bake. Currently doing a two for one special. Wait. Explain this. Explain. Explain. All right. So that's a five five. Not thrilled about that. Explain, explain. Alright, so we chump that, we double block this, and we're not thrilled about any of that shit. But what are you gonna do? Mm hmm. Bong, bong. Yep. I think we have to. Okay. 
Not bad. Um, here. Play this. Get this out of the yard. Yep. Okay. And then we have a 4-4, four, four, a 5-5, five, five, and one art, so... I guess I can cast that, but I don't think I want to. I think we can. Doesn't really help us. Next. No attacks, end turn. Okay, they're drawing a card off of that. Yep. Resolve. Mm -hmm. Yes. Their graveyard doesn't have anything really of note. I don't think mine either. Yeah, I can get my Umori. I think the better land. Okay. Activate this. It's an HJ joke? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Played into that. That kind of sucks. Alright. Gloomfang Mauler. Yeah, just play it out. Top deck. Make a 7-7. Seven, seven. I hope you drew nothing. Timberlin Ancient. Cool. Zephyr Singer. Auto pay. Yep, nothing convoked it. Next. No attacks. End turn. That thing's got reach and trample, which is not great. Flywheel racer. Alright, so they can actually attack with that. Um, not wonderful. Wait, unless you mean by HJ, you mean like... Hold... Cheese? Two lands off the top doesn't help. I'll tell you that much for true. Shoulder workout today? Okay. Best yet. Perfect. No attacks here. I can't really attack. Um, scrap. Uh-huh. Hold it for a hefty price. Pretty good. Alright, I uh, mean for the... Okay. Snacks for the dog. Aww. It's a yard work with grass and property. It did other... Okay. It sounds like you had a very productive day. I think my opponent's like... <coughs> well, let's see what they have. Let's see what they have. They could crew with that. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, we might, this might kill us, but I'll block like this. If they have a combat trick, I'm dead. Uh-oh, uh-oh, is this, um, I don't think there's anything that gives, like, plus four, plus oh, thankfully. We're just trying to block as profitably as possible here. Um, Fertilid's favor. Okay, so that still dies. Oh no, it doesn't because of this fucking thing. Uh, <laughs> that probably killed us. Yeah, alright. Good game. Three lands in a row did not help. Um, We haven't had a, a real issue with our mana just yet. So that's pretty good. Um, That last match though. I think our opponent just kind of like managed to get over us. Which kind of sucks. Oh well. Uh, two and one going into round four? Remember, though, this is how it happens. This is how it happens. Uh, honorable Jesus? Is it an, an honorable Jesus joke? Um, I wish you could move the placement of the, um, the overlay. Uh-oh. Am I going to sneeze? God, it looks so dark. Oh, my God. Perfect mana again into a perfect curve? You worked out. Ripped. Oh god. I, when I saw ripped after working out, I was like, oh no. What did you rip, sir? Play a tracker. It's holiday, so you can chill physically. Okay. Dug out roots and remodeled the ground. Whoa, Jesus Christ. From a tree. Jesus Christ. Let me just hit my opponent next. I'll attack. And then we're going to play Skitty, actually, to search for land. Yeah, take action. Um, I think we'll take a black source. Right? Yeah, because we can get any of the other ones. Artisan. Okay. Alright, no blocks. I don't care. 
They reset me to that. Alright, so play that. Um, let's see. Next. Attack with these two. I could actually do two things here. Okay, so play the informant. Or some discard. Wait, what kind of mod? Oh, 3D modeling. Let's say like modeling clay. Wait, do you build Gundams? You mean you mean 3D modeling? Okay, so we got their shatter the source. Untap target land. Untap this one. Get the pest out there. Hopefully draw a land here. Um, invasion of Innistrad. Never mind. Take a removal spell. You located another physique size increase. Okay. Where ideal is 15 and below. I mean, I wouldn't worry super duper a lot about like ideal numbers and shit, right? You just gotta do what you can, you know? If I can flip this next turn if they don't do anything silly. And I think we do... Like, if they attack, I I think we just kill that, right? We have two black sources. Halo Hopper. Oh yeah, I just kill that then. Wait, hold on. Creature, and then I can play these out, but... Kill that. Next. Right? One, two, three, four, five, and then you hit you. Okay. Yeah. That's like a bit much, actually. I'm surprised they even did that. I'm surprised. I really am surprised that they did that. They had such a slow start, and we had castable like big ass creatures too next turn well not next turn i was gonna play umori first and make my creatures cost on us but we did have five lands out so the tracker could actually make any of those big creatures come out for five uh well technically six we tap a land untap it and tap it again um yeah wow we're even three and oh i mean three and one sorry <laughs> Woo. so you just want oh okay you're just using it as like sort of a guideline that's fair I, I don't want you to get like super hype, hyper fixated on like on like, you know, numbers though, because I think that too many people get like ultra hyper mega fixated on numbers, and then like you know it's just, like it's that's everything that they they base their success on. It's like that's not the correct thing to do. Um, I'm gonna play that first, because even though we could play Omen Hawker, I'd rather play an early Nizumi Informant. Okay. Uh, Informant. Make him uh, discard. You're not good at. <laughs> Aw, you you do that, Reaper. I'm sorry. It's it's not like wonderful, but like it is what it is, right? Okay, so they pitched their Phyrexian Gargant. Okay, so next turn we could actually play Omen Hawker and leave up Meeting of Minds. Traumatic Rev. Okay, so they're probably gonna get rid of um, Title Terror. Maybe they're gonna get rid of Omen Hawker. I think Tidal Terror is the more correct thing to do. They could choose not to get rid of anything and ju just um, incubate three. But I think that Tidal Terror is like a problem. They know that I have two Convoke spells, right? And I'm on three color and I definitely have the mana to do what I want to do. So like maybe this is actually the kind of time where they go like, all right, Omen Hawker. Yeah, that was the correct thing to do. No blocks. That was the correct thing to do. All right, so let's see what you have, sir. Nothing to choose. All right, we'll get that. And then I'll attack. Bonk. That was cute. Hey, what's up, Wolfman? How are you doing, dude? They might flip this. Oh, they can't flip that. Sculpted Perfection. Okay. It incubates two for them. And they likely just hit me. How's your day been, Wolfman? Okay, so we got an Umori here. Uh, I don't think we play that. Well, maybe we do. And then I can make my instance cost one less. Done. What's the matter for a ball? Um, I'll attack because we don't really do anything specific with that. What's the matter for a ball? My cat's yelling at me. You need to learn to talk more. What do you mean? I feel like you talk an okay amount. Oh no, not grasp! Well, it still makes my spells cost less. Okay, they're transforming that to a 3 3. 
I can't block with it. They might as well attack with both. What? That's weird. Um, let's cast this with Convoke. Okay. Dismal Backwater. Yeah, play that. And then... War Historian. The 3-3. Three, three. Opponent's hand is mostly empty. They have something that's, like, interesting, right? That's a 4-4 four, four now, which is not great. I will trade this for that. Oh! That's bad. Um, maybe I don't trade this for that. We had to. Never mind. Okay, so we can gain 5 here. I need to somehow kill that. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five. I guess it's a... Shh. Summer, stop. What do you want? What do you want, bad girl? Hmm? What do you want? What does this bad girl want? Long day staring at the computer. Oh. That can be. Summer, what am I supposed to do here? Hmm? If I play Skittering Surveyor, I get a land, which I can then use to cast... Something? Okay. I think it taps funny. It tapped in the wrong way. Alright, so let's get a blue source, actually. We'll play that. So that we could still art artistic refusal? Yeah. Next turn. Next. No attacks. End turn. Mm-hmm. Uh... That's real good. That is real good. We take eight. They take two. I have to block. Maybe I let them have this? See, if I cast this, I have to cast it with that, which means... Hmm. And then we still take eight and we die. Alright, so we have to let them cast that, actually. Resolve? Hmm? Yep. Pass. Yep. Activate this. Block that. Uh, that won't be around next turn. They're not really in red. I guess I can go down to three. Okay. Mm hmm. Preening champions huge here. Um. I think we cast that actually. Makes a thing. Next. No attacks. End turn. Let's see if we could, uh. Because if the train goes, it goes. That's fair. <laughs> They're gonna attack. Yep. Okay. So pass. Uh, we'll block with the skitty. Pass. We're gonna hold up refusal. Because if they cast anything dumb. Hmm. Invasion de la Almonquette. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, green. Blue. Black. Please discard. Which card discard? What'd they lose? Vanquish the weak. Invasion of Zendikar. That's pretty good. We lost Invasion of Innistrad, though. Oh, that kind of sucked. Alright, so if I pitch that now, I think I still have to hold up, uh, what's it called? Um, and I think, let's see, one, two, three, I have to hold up, um, actually I can still attack that with this. Nah. No attacks. End turn. So what could I get out of the graveyard? Phyrexian Gargantua, which would kill me. Um, pass. Yep. Pass. Block with that. Pass. Mm-hmm. He forgets to talk for periods of time. And then all that could be heard is heavy breathing, but like, <laughs> does it say it? 
They know that we have this too, which is the funniest thing. Um, do I play the Invasion of Zendikar here? Maybe, right? Um, one, two, three. Maybe we just play this. Gain five, incubate five. Um, we could still artistic refusal, which is great. Uh, no attacks? Yeah, no attacks right now. And turn. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a small window where they can cast whatever big ass bomb they're holding. They're looking to like remove this Om Omori too. They're like, fuck, whatever, whatever I cast, they they it ruins. Um Yes. I think I have to block that. Okay. Activate this. Alright. Um that's fine. Is that fine? Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's invasion of Zendi here. Not tapping like that. Black. Black. Invasion of Zendikar. Get some lands. Um. Blue and a black. Mm -hmm. Still cast artistic refusal, and I think we just play Icker Drinker here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, four, five, six. Okay, so next, Green. Hit the invasion of Zendikar. What could we get out of here? They have a Gargantua. Done. Or we can get our Skitty. Yeah, I don't think we need the mana. I think we want to just hit this. Mm -hmm. End turn. And I think we do hit the invasion of Amon Cap. To try to flip their Sky Warden. I don't think I want them to have that. One, two, three, four, five. No, but if I let them. Oh, wait, it is only five. Yeah, resolve. I don't give a shit. Oh, it's a three, three. Whoops. <laughs> Not wonderful. I guess we have a. Yeah, no. Counter target spell done. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, I forgot to do draw to discard too. I'm done. Did draw to discard one rather? Sorry. Whoopsie. I guess tracker is not terrible. Um, here. All right. So hold on. Let's play this. Play that. And no attacks right now. I hope they attack with the Sky Warden. Yeah, do it. Okay. Uh, they might have Aerial Boost. If they have it, they have it. Oh. Sunfall. Woo! That's real good. That's real good. I am dead. Oh, should have played. I couldn't have played around that. I don't think I could have. I'm just dead to that next turn unless I. Ooh. All right. So we're going to get a card out of their hand, I guess. I don't know. It's instant speed. So they're just like, well, either or. Bloop. It might be removal. Okay. Strange. Yep. 
I need a way to kill that. How do I kill that? Consuming Aetherborn. Yup. Makes it a 10 10. I have to block. Otherwise, I'm dead. Bong. And then we get a pest, which is not the greatest because untapped is a weird thing. Okay. I probably should have tried to play around that. Okay. So. Uh huh. Lock that with this. Land is not great here. They probably block. Yep. Oh, GG. Damn. <laughs> hey, what's up, John? You started walks on Sunday. Okay. Yeah, uh, I need to start jogging again um, to work on my cardio. You're heading out? You did too. Did you? You actually pulled it off? Oh, God, and this fucking smoke? I hope you're wearing a mask the whole time. Like, real talk. Oh, my God. Six point five miles. That's a lot. I um I need to I need to start working on my cardio too. Like I'm finding myself getting like kinda tired under the trees and shit. It was okay. Alright. It's just like I stepped out for a minute. I was just like, oh this smells awful. Alright, so we're three and two, going into round six. Let's see how this goes. <coughs> this could still be our last match. Shit, Ryan, if you have the stamina, right? Um, plus, it's a good way to explore your uh, local area, right? Right? Um, we've been getting real lucky with the uh, with the openers, though. I'm going to say that right now. I, 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 and we continue to get lucky with these openers. All right. Uh, keep. I can play Dismal Backwater, Jungle Hollow, Omen Hawker. Burgeoning the turn after that. Wow. We're just like doing exactly what we need to. Um This is pretty good. If they remove that, I'm not too upset. Artisan. Okay, then they hit us. Yep. No blocks. Um good. We got another land. I think we cast burgeoning targeting this. Next. No attacks. End turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, John. You take it easy. Try, stay safe out there. It's like, I just... Uh, I'm surprised you still went for the hike, you know? So yeah, stay safe out there, dude. Alright. Are they flipping this? Okay. Invasion of Regatha. Activate ability. Okay, so they're gonna kill the Omen Hawker. So, like, that's just dead. Yep. Okay. A lot of Dimaggio. Are they gonna slap that? Yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense! Alright. Mm -hmm. No blocks. Um, what we got here? Skitty! Maybe we play that. Get a land. I think we're gonna get a blue source. Take action. Because we're low on those. Come on, blue source. This interface is sometimes like real weird. Play the blue source. And then next. No attacks. End turn. This forces them to um flip this if they want to like attack that thing, right? Which is fine. I guess. Uh this being a 4-4, four, four, that's not great. That's not wonderful. Okay. They likely do just flip this so that they don't have to worry about me gumming up the ground, you know what I mean? Um, we're trying, we're trying, Walsh. We're trying to dick very hard. We're trying to do the most dickings. I'm sorry. Um, they're really deep in the tank about this flip. I think that's the correct thing to do, but what do I fucking know? Right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Watch them just stoke it. Uh, that'd be wild. Okay, there it is. Uh, okay, resolve. I can't do anything about that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
It's a fire. Oh, they overtapped for it. Pass. Yep. 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 Okay. Resolve. I would like a big creature. Like, that'd be nice, right? Resolve. Because that would allow me to... We're going to invoke this out. Yep, yep. Oh, that's perfect. We can just kill that now. Um, Invasion De La Innistrad. Uh, next. Mm, I could flip that now, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. They're going to hit us for three here. Uh oh, what are we doing? What are we doing, sir? 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 Um, we're gonna hold up this art artist artistic refusal in our hand, I think. I'm curious what our opponent is thinking. Ooh. They're gonna get something back. Does that get back battles? Return target creature or battle. No, tar creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Creature card. That's not a creature. So. Mm -hmm. That's not doing what they think it's going to do, but it does add to the clock. Creature I control, I don't control. Get that. Make two tokens. Um, play this. Why are you tapping like that? Um, black, green. Informant. Please discard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From your home to a dam to a tourist spot. Okay. Cross that glows at night. Green. It was like stained glass? Got killed. Oh my god. Thrown in a trash bag? Wow! Jesus Christ, there's a lot of stuff going on over there. Alright, so we can always activate this to exile a card to then possibly get a creature, uh, which I think is fine. And I think we uh, hold that... Actually, wait. No. We need double blue for this. This would cost one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can't do both. Um, Next turn we can. No attacks, and turn. I would like for them to give me a reason to use artistic refusal. Like, I would love for them to do that. Mm -hmm. One, two, one, two, three. Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, do they have the um the board wipe? They might have the board wipe. Because their creatures would survive it if it's all three damage all around, right? They might have the board wipe. It's like invasion of um, something or other. <laughs> Where the water falls down, it's in the middle. Station and it lets ship through. Oh, like um, does it like fill the water? Does it fill like this area with water so, to let them up? I think opponent. Yeah. All right. So come on. Opponent's deep in the tank here. They're just highlighting everything. I don't think they're actually reading anything. They're just highlighting it to be uh, obnoxious. Which is like, it's a real tactic. It's a real tactic. Um, their safest attack is just to attack with this thing, right? Yeah, it's like in the Panama Canal. It's, that's kind of cool. Those things are like absolutely insane in terms of engineering. Okay, we artistic refusal that. Auto pay. I will discard this. Let's see, I'll play this. Reaching Trample. Um, next. 
Uh, one, two. There we go. End turn. That was a good one. Now they can't really attack through. I mean, they, I guess they can if they have something, right? But that wouldn't, which wouldn't be great for me. I would be like, oh no, that's not great. Um, they can't really attack with Arch Priest because we just triple block it. Um, or even double block it. But that's kind of cool. Um, that must have been a hell of a public work, work, a public's work project back in the day. Because, like, those things are fucking bleh. You know what I mean? Oh, they do have the shatter. Okay. That's a shame. Alright, so pass. They're not going to attack with the Archpriest. They're going to go... Yep, this makes more sense to do so. Um, mm -hmm. And my turn. Okay. So I think we played this. We need a Tangled Skyline, actually. Invasion of Amonkhet's not terrible, actually, here. What did we lose? Traumatic Rev. Okay. Um. Let's see. I guess I could cycle one of these to draw a card. If I attack with three of these things, I get to flip this and turn it into a... Uh, what do I... What can I get that's, like, gonna matter here? War Historian? No. Because they can only block one thing. I guess we get the Nizumi Informant. Alright. So let's do that, actually. Because I could cycle one of these. Oh no, but then I don't have enough mana. Okay. Um, one, two, three. It does leave us on like this really shit clock. Mm hmm? Do you block one? And I think, uh, like it does have a nice ETB. Um, I think done. Uh, next damage. Oh, we have this. Let me get the, um, you know what? I'm going to get the, uh, the big boy. The thing with the reach. Because we could put tokens on it with that. Their graveyard. My graveyard. You know what? Opponent graveyard. We'll take the, uh, Shivan branch burner. End turn. We're going to Gloom Fang Mauler, turn it into a 6 6 next turn, and that hopefully will save us. Um, we could still block the Archpriest of Shadows and kill it. I don't know if, like, they have enough to do anything about our board state right now. Like, they might. If they top decked removal, that's real bad for us. You know? Um, pace? Mm hmm. Can't do anything about that. Pass. No blocksies. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you got? Watch them have the um the board wipe. <laughs> uh my turn. Okay, so we play this. Play this. Put the tokens on that. Next. No attacks. End turn. I now have a 6-6. Six, six, which hopefully doesn't just die to removal. If they have removal, I'm just fucked, you know? Um, invasion of Regatha. Oh, GG. That's 4 damage right off the top. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Ah! Ooh. Wait, what's a Charger 69 shell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they had Exaxes too. Oh, Invasion of Regatha. I think people sleep on it. I think it's a much better um, invasion than people give it credit for. Because it's three manage. It's the three manage. Three damage for four to the face, right? They had two of them, which means that we were at 12. 
life the entire time. So hitting us um, four times with this would have been enough. Oh, sorry, three times with this would have been enough. No, no, I, 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 I know what you mean by shell. I, I'm trying to. I don't remember what a Dodge Charger sixty nine nice looks like. Leave match. Um, I'd have to look it up. Either way, well, three and three means we got our uh, entry fee back, which is not bad. Pretty fun games. Um, didn't really feel like I was mana screwed at any point, right? Which took a lot less fixing than I thought it was going to. We did. We definitely did need to like draw one of our removal spells. And we never, I guess I used one of them to flip that, uh, to flip the, uh, the invasion, which I think did help buy us some time because it kept their creature, oh, the creature on the ground, the, 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 the blight priest away from us. Um, the Dukes of Hazard or bullet car. Okay. I was going to look it up in a second. Um, so yeah, what could we have done differently? Let's see. I think the deck was fine at 42 cards, which is wild. Um, there were times where it's like, where's the card that I need right now? And I didn't really want to cut an Izumi Informant because every time you play an Izumi Informant, it's just like, oh my god. Especially in this format, you just don't know how to um, react to being told, discard a card, right? Having it happen two times maybe between that and the uh between the two of those and the invasion of Amonkhet is pretty real and it's pretty uh pretty bad for the opponent um our invasions were pretty good like the invasion of Zendikar was like almost perfect fixing uh the fact that we had a skitty was not bad either and what else what else oh uh the one blighted burgeoning absolutely fantastic um and additionally we had like a, a suite of duels right and we always had these to cycle away, but we never needed to cycle them away. <coughs> Sorry. We never needed to cycle them away because we always were able to ramp into these spells. And the problem then became, I would like even more lands, which is weird. It's a weird problem to have where it's just like, I have all these big spells like artistic, although artistic refusal is convoke, right? So... Also, Invasion of Innistrad, yeah, that, that's, this is a wild card. This is like a wild card for it to even exist. It's, it's, I, like, it's relatively easy to flip. It gets something out of the way so that you just try to flip it immediately. I like it. I do like it. Um, yeah, let's get it done. Let me collect this prize. Uh, again, if you're watching on the YouTube and you like what you see, like, share, and subscribe. But, uh, real talk, come over to twitch.tv slash dickrecord where you can hear me complain about Magic the Gathering and also... See my cat, see my cat, she is very painless and s. Yeah, you, you're very pain in s. We give her kisses anyway, because she's a good girl sometimes. Let me claim this, and I will see you all next time. For those of you that are watching on Twitch, though, we're going to continue with uh, probably Yakuza 6. They collect these gemos and these pacarinos. Let's see how far along we are on the. Whoops, Mastery Pass. I didn't mean to go there. I want to go here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm like 60, I'm 64 right now. Ooh, no, I didn't just get a pip. I had that pip from yesterday. Yeah, I'm 64 right now. All right, so let's, let's, uh, let's switch games. Um, I, oof, I didn't even get a thing ready. Holy shit. I am underprepared. Here we are. Today's 6-7, right? Okay, 6-7. Somebody's messaging me. I'm aware. 145. I've cut two. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm going to switch out some hardware. I'm going to look up what a 69 charger was. Nice. 